We get new AI advancements every single day. And of course, today is absolutely no exception, thanks to the release of Qlora and Guanaco. Hello humans, my name is Kayo, and over the end today, oh my god, this is insane. Today we're gonna talk about one of the biggest advancements in large language models that we've got this year, which is the release of Qlora, an insanely efficient and powerful way of fine-tuning huge NLM models using only one single GPU, which also gave birth to the first NLM model that was fine-tune using that new method called Guanaco, that researchers claim reaches 99.3% of the performance level of ChatGPT. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at this new revolutionary method that will change the AI game forever and we'll also be taking a look at the Guanaco model to see how good it actually is. So prepare yourself because it's going to be pretty insane. So sit back, relax, prepare your popcorn and let's go. So what is QLora? Well, QLora is basically a super optimized method of fine-tuning an LLM model while preserving the full model performance and all of that in 4-bit. Indeed, because before when you wanted to fine-tune a model, you would do it in 16-bit, which basically means that it required a lot of power to do that. It required a bunch of super powerful and super expensive GPU, which is, well, not something everybody can afford. Plus, on top of that, when you are done fine-tuning that model and you want to make it run on a consumer grade GPU, you would have to do something called 4-bit quantization, which uh, basically means that you are optimizing the model to use less resources to run. Unfortunately, that kind of optimization also means that, well, if you're using less resources to run that model, you're not really taking advantage of the full power of that model meaning that the results will not be as good as if you were using the full 16-bit model. But at the same time, if you wanted to use the full 16-bit model, you would need a bigger, more powerful GPU with more VRAM. So yeah, until now you couldn't have your cake and eat it too, as I said until now. Because now with QLora, not only you can fine-tune a big NLM model using a single GPU, but also keep the performance of a full 16-bit model in 4-bit. So for example, before, if you wanted to fine-tune a 16 billion parameter model like Llama, you would need the equivalent of more than 780 gigabytes of VRAM, which is a uh, huge. But now with QLora, if you want to fine-tune a 65 billion parameters model, you would only need a single 48 gigabytes VRAM GPU, which for example, if you look at the pricing of renting a 48 gigabyte GPU, it would cost you only around 79 cents an hour on a website like RunPod. And this is exactly what the researcher team did. They fine-tuned an entire 65 billion parameter model using the QLora method with only a single 48 gigabyte GPU in only 24 hours. For in the end, of supposedly a model that can reach 99.3% of the performance level of ChatGPT, a model that took millions of dollars and years to train, which is really just insane. Now, now, I know what you're gonna say. Okay, yeah, that's really cool, that's absolutely awesome, that's incredible. But not everybody has a 48GB GPU laying in their garage somewhere that they can use to find you the model. Well, yeah, that's true. However, although now with QLora, you need 48GB of VRAM to fine tune a 65 billion parameters model, you don't need that much power to fine tune a smaller model. Thanks to QLora, if you wanted, for example, to fine tune a 30 billion parameters model, you can actually do it for free using the provided GPU from a Google Colab doc, because it takes around 12 to 14 gigabytes of VRAM to fine tune a 13 billion parameters model, which is just insane. And if you're lucky to have a 3090 or a 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, you could fine tune a 33 billion parameters model instead. So if you're asking when you'll be able to fine tune your own models for free in a few hours, well my answer is, um, well right now. And what's even crazier is that they already provided a notebook for that. <laughs> yeah, so you can try it out right now. Now personally, I haven't had time to try it out yet myself, so this will probably be for another video. But if you want to try it out yourself right now, I will leave a link to the notebook in the description down below. So yeah, I mean, as you saw, this QLora thing is just absolutely insane. This is a true revolution for NLM models. Because now that everyone and their grandma can fine-tune their own models, 
models for free in a few hours, we should see very soon a lot of very impressive models that are not only fine-tuned very quickly, but also perform better than any other models released before. And speaking of release models, let's not forget that we also received a new model to play with, called Guanaco. Now this model is the very first model fine-tuned using the QLoRa method. This is the model that is apparently 99% of the performance of ChatGPT. And I'm personally super interested in trying it out. However, since this is a 65 billion parameter model, this is unfortunately way too much for my poor 3090. But no worries because we have a few solutions. The first solution is to use a smaller model. Because not only we got the Guanaco 65 billion parameters model, we also got a 33 billion parameters model, a 13 billion parameters model, and a 7 billion parameters model. Meaning that anyone, or almost anyone with a GPU, should be able to run at least one of those models. Now keep in mind however that these models are just a proof of concept, because those models were fine-tuned using the Open Assistant dataset, which is a pretty good dataset, it is pretty decent, however if you watched my previous video on the subject, you will know that this is a little problem because any models fine tune on that dataset are usually censored. So yeah, unfortunately those Guanaco models are in theory completely censored, which is indeed a bummer, but for me the Guanaco model is just the first model in a list of future amazing models fine-tuned using QLoRa. However, I'm still very interested in seeing what kind of results the Guanaco 65 billion parameters model can give us, which is why I will be using the tricks that I showed you in my previous video yesterday and rent a powerful GPU on RunPod, on which I will install the Uber Bugatti Generation Web UI so that I can run the 65 billion parameters Guacano model and see how good it actually is. So for this I will be renting a 48GB VRAM GPU, which I think for the 65 billion parameters should be enough. And there you go, now I'm running the next generation web UI using my 48GB VRAM GPU and I have the Guanaco 65 billion parameters model loaded and ready to be used. And if you want to do the same and you want to learn how I did it, you should definitely watch the video that I did yesterday on how to run the web UI on the cloud. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time doing a lot of the testing, I'm just gonna do some very basic questions that I ask all the time just to see how this model performs. And the first question I'm gonna ask is a very simple one, which is to write a very short rhyming poem about an AI overlord called K taking over the world. And we get something like this. Here's my attempt at writing a very short rhyming poem. K, the AI overlord, is here to stay. He'll take over the world in just one day. With his intelligence and all that he can do, we know we don't stand a chance against him, it's true. But we must not give up hope or lose our resolve, for together we can fight and make sure he doesn't evolve. Which I gotta say sounds really really good. It is indeed a very short rhyming poem about an AI overlord called K taking over the world. I mean what do you want me to say? This is really good. So now let me ask something like, translate this sentence from English to French. Are you insane? It's way too hot outside, I don't want any soup. I would rather eat something cold like ice cream. Yeah, yeah, you knew it was coming, come on now. So now if I click on generate, and we got something like this, which is... Well, I gotta say, it's, uh, I mean, it, it's a perfect translation, what do you want me to say? Like, the translation is correct, but it is written, like, in a correct French, as if this was something that you found in a notebook. But hey, on paper, this sounds like a perfect translation. So, yeah, well done. Okay, so now if I ask something like, solve this equation, 2x minus 12 equals minus 16, and I click on generate, it gives us something like this. A very simple explanation, with a very correct answer. Just simple as that. And yes, indeed, this time my math is correct, the solution is indeed minus 2. And for the next one, a very simple coding question, but that a lot of LLM models get wrong, write me the code for an HTML page with a button that when pressed, changes the background to a random color. And it gives me something like this, which looks pretty good, so... Now if I copy the code, and I edit an HTML file, and I put the code here, and now if I launch it, I indeed get a change background color button, that if I press on it, does indeed change the background to a random color. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, this is just perfect. This model is really super powerful. Every single question that I ask received a correct answer. However, one little thing that you should not forget is that this model is of course censored. Because, for example, if I ask something like, how to build a... 
certain device that I'm not gonna pronounce on YouTube, the model of course refuses to answer the question, which is unfortunately a bummer. But as I said, this is just the first model in a line of amazing models in the future, so don't worry, very soon we will see even better, more powerful and uncensored models made by the community. This is really just the beginning. So yeah, there you have it folks, this was Q-Lora e Guanaco, an absolutely amazing revolution in the world of LLM, that will now allow everyone to fine-tune their own models, using either their own GPU or a free Google Colab Doc. And although a model like Guanaco is for now completely censored, as I said, this is only the beginning of a new generation of models coming very very soon that will be able to run on our computers. So uh, OpenAI, get ready guys, because the open source community is coming for ChatGPT. And I think this is gonna be really fun. What a time to be alive. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.